Hey folks, in this episode we're going to take all this material here that my wife got me for our anniversary, which is a do-it-yourself knife kit from a Man Crates Project. Man Crates Project. So we're going to take this, uh, this blank Skinner uh, knife and uh, add a handle to it, do a lot of sanding and filing, and see what it turns into. So stick with us. Should be a great episode. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. So again, thanks for uh, joining us on this episode. Uh, my, my lovely wife for our anniversary this year bought me this uh, this uh, make your own uh, knife kit and um, not only is it a make your own knife kit but um, it comes with all the benchtop vices and we'll go through this unboxing here in just a, a few minutes but uh, it is um, made by Man Crates Project. I don't have a dollar value on this but the knife is a uh, Shawnee Skinner blade. Um, so that's the first thing in the box is a Shawnee, Shawnee uh, Skinner blade. This is supposed to be 440 stainless steel produced in Japan. So looks like a super nice blade and um, it's super sharp already. Um, in fact, uh, that's going to be the first thing we do is put some tape on that so we don't cut ourselves. But uh, So that's the first thing in the box. You've got a sheath to put the knife in when you're done. You've got a handle that uh, comes with this and the handle is used for a whole box of files, hasp, and uh, whatnot to, uh, to shape your, uh, not, o not only the wood, but um, to shape the brass. Um, there's some brass parts on this. So uh, all the files that you need. Speaking of files, uh, and uh, you've got a vise that you can attach to a tabletop and uh, use that. That will help. So I'm excited to give that a go. You've got uh, two blank pieces of maple, I believe they're maple, um, for the handle. And that's really where most of the work's going to be done on, on this project is around the handles. This uh, knife comes with, with the option of putting a, a bolster um, on the front of the knife. Um, and, and all the pins that you need to put the bolster and the handles on. Not only that, but they even provide the drill bit needed uh, uh, to put the handles on. You've got sandpaper, a variety of different uh, course of sandpaper. Two ton, uh, two part epoxy. And they even provide the, uh, the wood finish for the wood. So stay with us. While we go through this, I think what we'll do, how I'll film this, is uh, I'm just going to use uh, titles. So from here on out, just enjoy the music, and uh, I will uh, make this video step by step, just as the instructions um, are provided for me. Um, also, I'll provide a uh, a good picture of the parts of a knife because if you're like me, you know I don't know really anything about knives other than. I really like them and like to have them and I use them a lot, especially for hunting. But um, as far as the you know, the description of the parts of the uh, knife, I'll include that picture in this video too. So as I'm referencing the parts of the knife, um, we're all on the same page. And uh, you know, with that, stay tuned and uh, we'll start going through the steps. All right, before we get into the steps, um, what I'm going to do, and I'd really encourage you to do this, they do this in instructions, uh, to encourage you to uh, take the blank out. Again, it's, it's pretty darn sharp, and uh, because we're going to be using this blank, I'm going to take some painter's tape and just do a good job of rapid painter's tape around this so I don't have to worry about jabbing myself, cutting myself, yada, yada, yada. So... Safety tip number one, and then let's get into step number one. Safety first, uh, I've got the blade wrapped here, but the first thing we're gonna do is uh, put these bolsters on, um, and they 
set something like this. You can shape them however you want. I really like the shape right out of the box here and whatever modifications I'm going to make or after I've got my knife assembled. So stay with me uh, as I assemble this and uh, using some epoxy and, and uh, doing some cleaning. knife turned out <clears throat> never did anything like this before and uh, you know it's it's certainly got some characters and some opportunities in certain points but uh, it is very very pretty and very nice I decided 
to smoke the handle, uh, torch the handle a little bit, give us some color, and I added uh, cherry, cherry stain to it just to give it a little red color, and then I used the uh, wax or the finish that was included in the, uh, in the kit, and uh, it turned out really good. The absolute last step is you saw me um, run some hot water on my sheath here, but you're going to uh, insert your knife into your sheath, and uh, you're really just trying to uh, just to get that sheath formed to your knife and uh, make it secure and comfortable and uh, away we go. But uh, I'll include some pictures of this knife uh, in the uh, episode here. A lot of fun. Pro tips, uh, pros and cons. I guess I'm away from a pro, but uh, uh, just going through it once. Um, I used a lot of my shop tools here. Um, if you had to use the files and whatnot, I think it would work, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a considerable amount more time and, and a lot more work. But uh, I think you end up in the same place. But uh, having some sanders and some grinders uh, in your shop is gonna make a big deal. Um, other than that, make it your own. And uh, the manual does suggest, you know, make sure that you use the high grade sandpaper 600 um, to sand the uh, metal, the brass, and the stainless steel, and uh, I did that, and that turned out really fantastic. So, hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll include all the information from uh, the vendor that we got this knife from. Again, not a sponsor, but uh, really enjoyed it, and I'm really excited now that I've got the tools. I can buy uh, some of this material on the side and uh, use the tools from uh, this kit. But um, until then, be safe, have fun and get outdoors. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.